The European Court's judgment on Natalia Estremarova's case comes at a perilous time for the human rights community in Russia. Natalia was an extraordinary person who worked tirelessly for justice in the North Caucasus region, bearing witness to tragedies in the most difficult circumstances, even at great personal risk. Her work brought many atrocities to light, including enforced disappearance, torture, extrajudicial killing, and pun punitive house burnings by law enforcement and security agencies. But her bravery made her a target. We know that many killings of human rights defenders are preceded by threats, as was the case for Natalia. The failure of the Russian authorities to effectively investigate Natalia's murder has contributed to the prevailing climate of impunity in the region. Human rights organizations and their staff in Russia have been labelled so-called foreign agents and are frequently subjected to intimidation, harassment, physical attack, arbitrary detention and prosecution. Yet in the face of adversity, human rights defenders remain determined to document and challenge egregious human rights abuses. As I said in my 2020 annual report, there is no more direct attack on civil society space than the killing of human rights defenders. The killing of any human rights defender is a tragedy for their loved ones, a tragedy for the building of just societies, a very serious attack on civic space and an indelible stain on the relevant government's commitment to implement the Declaration on Human Rights Defenders. Since 2015, more than 1,323 human rights defenders have been killed across the globe. Women human rights defenders face particular risk. As my predecessor as Special Rapporteur noted in 2019, they often face additional and additional different risks and obstacles that are gendered intersectional and shaped by entrenched power stereotypes and deeply held ideas and norms about who women are and how women should be. Their courage and Natalia's courage must never be forgotten. I call on the Russian government to uphold and protect human rights and fundamental freedoms in accordance with its international human rights obligations and the UN Declaration on Human Rights Defenders and ensure the protection of human rights defenders in Russia and especially in the North Caucasus. The Russian authorities must also now ensure that there is an effective, independent investigation into Natalia's murder so that the perpetrators can be brought to justice. Natalia and her family deserve nothing less.